Ah! 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 The story of Shango, the legendary African king, takes us into the early history of the Yoruba people. Chief Wale Oguyemi, a writer and researcher with the African Studies Department of the University of Ibadan, Nigeria, was commissioned to write the screenplay of Shango. I've been doing research into the history of uh, the mythical Shogu and the legendary Shogu at the same time. Because the historical Shogu uh, was the incarnate of the mythical Shogu. So I've been doing research into uh, the two aspects of Shogu. Recently in Africa, and specifically in Nigeria, young filmmakers apparently began to realize that despite the spread of ideas and knowledge through film, Somehow, much of African life and culture, of authentic African concepts of beauty and wisdom, had somehow never been seen on the screen. And so some of them committed themselves to doing something about it. This particular documentary film is about how one such filmmaker recently attempted to rectify the need for the world to see and understand the genuine underpinnings of African culture. He chose to make a film about one of Africa's best-known figures, the Yoruba God King, Shango. Obafemi B. Lassade is God sent as a loaded giant in the art and creative spheres and also a pillar of strength to the underprivileged of our time. So, how did you start the making of this giant epic, the legendary African King, Shango, on film? First of all, I must confess, I didn't intend to do an epic film. It wasn't, it was just evolved into that because you couldn't treat that the story that we had and the script that we had without taking it to that level. Shango! Our research team swung into action, went on a number of trips to Oyo, Ilefe, Oshobo, Ede, Igbeti, Idonre, Isheri, and other relevant towns that made up the old Oyo Empire. We couldn't have achieved the success without the caliber of actors and actresses that we have on it. And uh, I think that's the key. Uh, fantastic actors and actresses. We have a wonderful crew. Um, and uh, when you have all that combination, you're going to get a very good movie. Shango. Shango. It's a great thing to see that Nigerians are turning up uh, for social life like this, like going out despite all the odds, all the troubles in the country to ease off somehow. It's a great thing to see that the film industry is coming again, it's being revived and life is going on. You know. My regret is that I believe it might be long to be able to achieve a thing like this again in Nigeria. Where are the producers that will be able to invest in this kind of a thing? Where are the producers that will be able to accommodate the kind of artists that Family Lassode accommodated in this field? And some people were even skeptical about the whole thing, you know, why the thing was on. But today I'm happy, things are happening here, and everybody is seeing it. For the first time, an English team is pulling a crown. Nobody needs to pull a crown. They were, everybody was thinking that Shango will play a second field here. But for God's sake, everybody that left his home to come and see a movie here came for Shango. So I think others can now share the remnants, and that's what we've been doing since we started showing. That's one thing that we people believe. We believe in honesty and sincerity. Money can do anything. If you use the right people, you will get results. That is what Eva Extra did. Because it's true that the money has been spent. And they spent it so wisely to the extent that anywhere you go to, arm can go anywhere in the world and tell the white men or the black in diaspora that 
This is a film belong to the black. Um, well, this is a question and answer time. If anybody has any questions, I'll be very glad to answer your questions for you. Anybody? What, in, what inspired you to make the movie? I'm, I'm very fascinated by Yoruba mythology, Yoruba history, history in general, African history. And um, I wanted to do something, I wanted to bring out this story because Many people have heard about Shongo as a deity, but nobody knows what he re even in Nigeria, where, you know, even in, in Oyo and uh, the, the Western states, people don't know much about their history. African Americans know much more about African history than, 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 than Africans. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm very correct, because there's a thirst, they want to know. Over there, it's taken for granted. This was an opportunity I had to be able to bring out a story that to, to let people know that we have our own history, we, we have our story, you know, as, as opposed to the story that Hollywood, um, you know, gives us, you know, for, for decades. I remember um, two years ago going to um, a computer store in Manhattan and looking, browsing through the computer games, and I saw a computer game called Shongo, and uh, he was a wrestler and, a, and like a ninja. And I'm saying, well, goodness me, if, if, if children are buying these games, they're going to grow up think, thinking that Shongo is a wrestler and uh, a ninja, a, a Chinese. You know, we have to put the story straight. We have to, and this is just an opportunity that was presented to me, and uh, I, you know, I felt it was very important to do that. Thank you. <laughs>